Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss about Vivo coding and auto coding in NVO. Basically, these are all automated processes in which you can do uh, automatic coding in your data set. Sometimes it happens that you are having a humongous data set and it is not possible for you to do the manual coding and therefore you rely on the system to carry out the auto coding for you. Uh, you can also match the manual codes and the auto coding done by the system later on. But first of all, uh, let, let us understand the Vivo coding, which is a partial, you can say the auto coding, and then we will see the full auto coding. Let's go in the data file. We have already talked about how to import the data set in the environment of R, how to do the file classification. Now double click on it and on the right hand side you will see the data. Now after this say for example if I want to say that like I want to do the care, uh, coding of carrier, how you can do in Vivo coding, right click and code in Vivo. Don't, don't go for code selection or code to recent codes, go in code in Vivo. After this is done, activate your codes and in this double click on it. Once you double click here, you will be able to see carrier. Now again select it, right click and there is a concept of spread coding. What will happen if you do the narrow context? It means that it will take the five words before the carrier and five words after the carrier. Broad context, entire paragraph will be taken. So depending upon your requirement, you can go for narrow context, broad context or the custom file. So narrow context. When I'll click on it, you will come to know that it's taking carrier and, and the words which are there. Let's go back again. And now we will go for the broad context. Again, I'll select this carrier and spread coding broad context. So you can see gambling has ruined the carrier of many youngsters. Now if I do, I can also customize in spread coding, custom selection and depending upon the requirement, how many number of words surrounding the paragraph, surrounding the paragraphs style or entire text, I can do it. So this is all about Vivo coding. Now let us try to understand auto coding. So for this purpose, I will activate the data file, the inbuilt data file, which has been given in NVivo. There is an overview of sample project. I will activate that. It's a default data set which is given in all the NVivo software. When I select this, I am having an option for auto code. So you have to go from home and auto code. It will ask you two options identify themes, identify sentiments. First of all, we will see themes. Click next. You start, start preparing the codes on its own. Now it has identified that the community can you you can make the code of it and the sub codes can be coastal communities, community perception, east community, community advisor, representative. At present, if you feel that you want to select you want to select all of them, you can select from here or you can deselect some of them also. So I'm deselecting uh, two of them and then I'll say next. You want to code sentences or paragraph? Normally you should go for uh, co coding the sentences. Click next where you want to place this autocoded themes so the destination has been specified finish now once this is done you'll be able to see autocoded themes here and how many uh, incidents of these codes are there you can also click here at and just press view references and you will come to know where these codes have been the source of this codes you will come to know when I click on this and again I'll come back here now you will see very beautiful codes sub codes you will be able to see this I can also change my graph style from here by clicking here so I'll get the pie chart it will take some time just wait for a minute it will give me a pie chart where there will be a code and sub codes will be following it. It's taking some time. So at present, let me take on summary and you can see in summary also how many, where the locations are there. Okay, let's go back on hierarchy chart. 
Now, when I go from another menu of this auto coding, it will give me a different result. So at present, I will switch this off and switch this off and I'll go into the coding section codes. Now here in codes also, you have to go in auto coded themes. You can see the codes which have been uh, identified by NVivo. Now, if you feel that communities and coastal communities, they both are same. What you can do easily, just drag it and drop it. Just select it and drop it here. And both of them will get merged. So community is now the path of coastal community. So you can merge, demerge the codes depending upon your requirement. You can rename the codes also if you want that I feel that the name of the code should be this. So the method is first you do the manual coding. Rather you should go first for the auto coding that let us try to identify what auto coding has been done by the system and then try to match it with your manual codes. So this is first method. The second thing is I want to understand the sentiments which are there in my data set. So what I'll do, I'll again go in files. I'll select it, overview, auto code. And this time, instead of themes, I will select identify sentiment. Click next and finish. So it will tell me that how much positive sentiments are in my data set, how many negative sentiments are there in my data set. I'll just click on view references. And when I click this off, I'll be able to get how many positive sentiments and negative sentiments are there in the entire data. I can also click here auto coded sentiment results. When I click on this transpose matrix, I'll be able to get more specifically that how many codes are very negative, moderately negative, moderately positive. I can click here and I can I can double click here and I can directly go on the data sets which I feel that so I am in the position to say that this data sets are having a moderately positive sentiments. So thank you all of you. You can subscribe to my channel. Keep following me on LinkedIn and Twitter.